Butternut squash is not just for soup. It can be used for an incredibly tasty pasta sauce. We're going to add bacon and lightly fried chicken to make this one of your favorites. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today, we're going to make butternut squash with pasta and chicken. You're gonna love this. It's gonna be a nice creamy sauce. You can use any kind of pasta. We're gonna use spaghetti. You could use anything on this earth that you like. And the ingredients are very simple. For the squash, we're going to have some cream in it, a little bit of butter, an onion chopped up. Uh, for the flour, I'm gonna lightly flour the chicken and we're gonna use about a half teaspoon of salt, about a half teaspoon of smoked paprika and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And that's it. We've got two chicken breasts and some flour and we're ready to start. First, we're gonna cut the squash in half and there are several ways to do this. Uh, you can cook it in the microwave, which is probably the easiest. So you wanna get this thing. And these are, can be difficult. The thing here is to get it nice and inserted before you start going all the way down so you don't cut yourself. All right, so that's a nice looking one right there. If you did it in the oven, you probably wanna do about 30, 40 minutes, about 350. Put a little bit of water in the pan so it stays moist. In the microwave, we're just gonna stick it in the microwave. All right, so we have this one nice and cleaned out. That one's a little thicker, so they probably won't get done at the exact same time, but you do want this cooked all the way. So we're gonna try 10 minutes. If it takes 15, it takes 15. All right. Nice? Nice. All right, try this in the microwave. All right, 10 minutes. I don't know how to set this thing, so I just do this. So at the 10 minute mark, <clears throat> the squash is not even close. So I put it on for another six minutes. We're gonna check it, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start the onions. I forgot to mention that I also have three cloves of garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and get these onions cooking. I'm using the same pan and the grease from the bacon that I cooked earlier. I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that, but you could see it there. So we're gonna put the bacon on top. It's not gonna go in the sauce itself, uh, just the onions, the garlic, the cream and the butternut squash will make the pasta sauce. So this cooked about three minutes. I'm gonna put the garlic in. Again, this is about three cloves, minced. I'm actually probably gonna drain this to take the extra oil off. And in the meantime, we'll start our pasta water, which I've got going. All right, so I'm gonna drain this grease off. Squash is said to have been cultivated in ancient times in Mexico and Central America. It is considered to be a symbol of fertility and abundance. The word squash is from the Native American word ascutasquash, which means eaten raw or uncooked. Interestingly, butternut squash is not a very old variety of winter squash. It was developed by Charles Leggett in Stowe, Massachusetts in 1944. Mr. Leggett crossed pumpkin with gooseneck varieties of squash to make this hybrid. Today, we're going to use it to make a creamy, tasty spaghetti sauce. So it's been about 20 minutes, and you know, it just depends on what size squash you have, your microwave, all those things. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna stick a fork in it. If it goes in nice and smoothly, easily, you know it's done. And that plate is hot. <laughs> See how nice that is? And it should scoop out. That's absolutely there. All right, so we got our food processor. I'll tell you what, that looks good. Man, it smells good too, doesn't it? It does smell good. I'm trying not to pull the part that's that's tough, you know, like at the very top from cooking, and so we don't want skin. So we're gonna see how this goes. Gets in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream in it. Ooh, that's looking really good. It is looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream in it. I know I don't I know I can put it through here. And then what we're going to do is 
When I start the chicken, we'll start the pasta. Look at that, that looks luscious. Okay, put these in. All right, that's gonna be a little thicker than we want it, which is fine. We're gonna thin it down with pasta water and it'll be nice. I'm gonna just leave this here, this is ready to go. It's time to start our chicken and our pasta. All right, so I got about three quarters of a cup of flour. I'm putting in a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'm just gonna mix this by hand. So we're not making like southern fried chicken. We're just going to dust them. Ready? I've got some of the bacon grease that I poured off. And you can see it's solidifying, but that's okay. We're gonna get this nice and warm, and then we're gonna put the chicken in about five minutes each side. All right, it's time to turn up the pasta water, get it boiling. We're gonna put the entire package of, we're using spaghetti. As I said, you can use anything you like. And you should do it like that and not break it. Let it go let it go into and just melt into the pan or the pot. And I've got a little oil and a little bit of salt. Oh, that's nice. That's just right. You could add a little salt, but I'm not going to because I put the salt in the flour. And, all right, so I'm gonna check this. That's a little low right there. This is one step. This one's almost done. Let me go to the thickest part. 147, 48, 150. A little bit more. All right, so we got 165, 166. And we got one, 150 there. So this one's done. One sixty-two. One sixty-five is what you want, but when it'll go up three degrees just sitting, so I'm real close. That is good right there. All right, so we're done with this. We're gonna thin it down with pasta water, make it even silkier. All right, here we go. I want to get all that out of there. Can't have too much sauce. This is, you know, like a lot of. Spaghettis, you don't want to oversauce them. With this stuff, you want to oversauce it. Not high. You want this kind of low. You don't want to burn it. We want to keep our eyebrows. You want to keep our eyebrows. Well, you can never control that. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. I mean, that's plenty for right now. It's probably going to take a, about two more of those, but we'll see. We're going to let this melt in there. Ah, the cheese is melting nicely. I'm gonna put a little more cheese in it. All right, that's melting nicely. I'd say we're right there now, once this gets mixed in. I think that's done. What do you think? Let's taste it. Hmm, my Lord, that's good. But I'm gonna put just a little. Yeah, it's a big pain. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, the burner is off. Spaghetti's done. Chicken's ready to cut. Get a little parsley. Get that, you get the bacon crumbled up. That is ready to go. So we're gonna cut the chicken, which is rested nicely. easily make four plates. Look at that. It's totally done. I think that's enough to go on that dish. Maybe one more. All right, so we have our pasta. A nice helping of the sauce. Our chicken on top. A 
of bacon and a little bit of parsley. All right, we're ready to taste this butternut squash with chick with pasta and chicken. Butternut squash with pasta and chicken. I get this right, okay? I got a fork for you. I'm gonna get this little piece of chicken right here. A little bit of pasta, a little bit of bacon. That's a nice bite right there. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. If you don't like that, there's something wrong with you. That's really good. You gotta get some of the piece of chicken, a little bit of bacon. You got this. Oh, there you go. Nice yep. bite. Yep. A little parsley to cleanse the palate. Yep. There you go. Oh man. You just about had it. Is that right or not? That is right. If you like this, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Tell me what country you're from, and I'll see you next time on Lawyer in the Kitchen.